Good morning. Hey, you Katarn. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on. Tell us. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home. A maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E. And claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident! I told him I don't believe it, not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it Hit me. If the girl was found unconscious at school, then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It all made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap. I felt a chill run down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it, or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? We'll leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me. Good evening. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time.
morning. Welcome back. Did you two ask around like we agreed? Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you! I know, I know! I'm kidding! Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine, 
Then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected, but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? We're talking. Oh man, I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. It's time. Let's get going. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats and knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? You're actually excited about this? The 
hell are these guys? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, I... What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on, don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on, let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, Goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? What? It'll be fine. Shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh. No, or maybe not. <laughs> oh man, you're a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah, now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Uh, yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally! Thanks a lot! Come on! Show some appreciation! Just don't come around here again. Thank you for helping us. And for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again.
Bye-bye.